Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about Ye's wife's sister going off on her Instagram page. Let's talk about it. Now guys, before I get into all of that, I just want to remind you, if you see anyone else out there with my content, listen out, look out please, let me know because some people, they have been playing and I don't play like that, okay? So just to let you all know what they've been doing, they've been stealing content creators videos and then they um, hide our authentic voice using an AI, but it's the same content. They just, you know, are able to change voice with an AI and it's the same thing that's I'm saying now word for word, and they're uploading it on their channel. Now, YouTube is tell us that they're working on a software to, to detect these and get them off the platform for good because that is a copyright infringement. And they're looking at also catching on to these people to take serious legal actions against them. So if you all see any of my content out there, honey, let me know. Just comment on any video, the channel name, and I'll find it. If you see it on TikTok, let me know. If you see it on Instagram or Facebook, let me know. And thank you guys in advance. Now, let's get into this video, shall we? Because we've seen the paper boys. We know them, the daily fail, and the list goes on. They have been dragging Bianca through the mud for her individuality, her uniqueness. Do you see how people pick on people when they're individually unique? Whenever you're different, whenever you're, you stand out, and whenever people see that you're different, you know, and there's this uniqueness that is beautiful about you, they prey on that and they convince others that, you know, you're trash, you're nothing, you're nobody, right? And when Bianca was in Italy, that's exactly what they did to this woman. They labeled her, they assassinated her character, they spoke about her dress code repeatedly, nonstop. They even convinced a lot of people she was doing things that she wasn't, okay? And many people took it, they ran with it, and they called this woman all sort of names, Listen, if Bianca is taking a break, she definitely deserves that shit because the shit that the media has been giving this woman and has been doing to her and she hasn't done anything, like anyone would definitely want to take a step back to heal their soul, their heart, and rejuvenate no matter how strong they are, you know, because what the media was doing was extremely toxic and very harmful and it was all a bunch of lies from start to finish we even had um this lady that came out and kathy griffin that is and kathy griffin accused ye of you know abusing bianca and said that you know bianca shouldn't be dressing like that but she understand why Kim dresses like that and it was okay for Kim to dress like that because Kim was promoting her brand but she was so dumb and slow she didn't realize that Bianca was also promoting her brand well her sister is here to reinforce that what Bianca has been wearing is Bianca's brand honey and as such Angelina Sensuri is going off over there on Instagram, honey, because the moment I saw the look, the uniqueness, and the variation, you know, for those who knew Ye and understand how he works, we could tell that he was coming with this line. Because what he normally does is anything that he's coming with, he ensures that he wears it. His woman wear it. And he does it for at least a year or more because he wants to ensure that once it gets into the hands of his consumers, 
it is nothing but perfection and comfort. Do you know that not many people do this? Like some people, they go over there in China, find a company to mass produce, slap on their label, don't give a rat's ass about the quality, the comfort, or anything. But Ye takes the time out to do the work, honey. And many people were definitely hating on Bianca, calling her names. They were hating on Ye, calling him names. And I said, it's given the sense that what Bianca and Ye is wearing is their at leisure brand because we weren't seeing the labels. The look was unique. Even Ye's black outfit where he had his head wrapped for the most part, the cargo looking pants, it was all looking unique. And then we learned that Ye had a, um, filed for a trademark for at leisure. And we said, yes, it's definitely given the sense that he's coming with this line and it will be named at leisure. So seeing Bianca Sensori's sister wearing the leggings, and make no mistake, you know, Angelina Sensori, she is extremely petite, right? They're small because their mommy is small. And when you look at the dad versus the mom, the girls, they do have most of the mom genetic makeup because they, they are petite. But for Bianca, she has always been more curvaceous, which is given the sense that she has the genetic makeup of her daddy, Leo Sensori. Because even at, um, when you look at Bianca's high school photos, she was still more curvier than her other siblings. But one thing, they do have like, you know, the top, you know, they do have, they do fill out in that area, but still you know, petite. They have this uniqueness about them. And Angelina Sensori, she's not on the list of top models, but she is a model and she's working it, you know, to get there. She's taking the slow and narrow path she, to get there. She's not just doing any and everything. But I believe that most of her work is Australian based. And so we don't get to see more of her. And when people, and this is a thing, when people talk about Bianca dress code and accuse ye, blame ye, they don't even know that Bianca has been dressing like that for years, modeling like that for years. But I mean, whatever excuse they have to make to throw that man under the bus, they're going to do it, right? So I don't blame Miss Best Body Bianca for taking a break and just staying away, detox from the toxic lying paper boys. However, her sister is saying, honey, I'm here and I'm rocking my sister's look because I believe that they wanted to launch the fashion line at the time of the album launch. And I believe that Kimmy Cake somehow got wind of this when she came out with the Skims men line and then the Skims Swarovski crystal line. I believe that she got sense of the fact that Ye and Bianca was about to do a clothing launch at that time. So she already did up and did a back-to-back -back launch, believing that she would have capitalized on whatever Ye had going on at the time. But Ye pulled back, so seems as though Kim's plan didn't work out very well in her favor. Ye hasn't still Ye still hasn't launched the line as yet, but I believe he's gonna do so in the near future. And it's gonna be a collaboration between him and his wife because she has been a integral part of his projects as we, you know, have observed for the past couple of months. Also, it is approaching their anniversary can't wait to see if they do anything special and share it with us. We know they do a lot, but it's just that Ye is not the one who shares his entire life on the internet. He knows that the fan base will want to see him, want to see his wife. So they made the original, the occasional, not original, but occasional appearance for the fan base, but the media 
has done a lot. They were playing with the media as well, too. When they realized the media was being a hot garner in this, the media thought they were winning, but they were just giving Ye and his wife free press. <laughs> Listen, every time I, because if you guys remember, I read that play and I told you all, Ye and Bianca was playing with the media and Bianca is Ye's 2.0. And when people saw Bianca and her, and her friends, people were like, yeah, you did say this was going to happen. No, it's good to see that Bianca is taking a step back from the toxic media site. But Miss Angelina Sensori is holding that reins, honey, because she's going off in her sister's signature look. And I'm definitely here for it. And I want to know, are you guys here for it as well? Leave a comment below. Give this video a big thumbs up. See you all later. Bye, guys.